Howdy y'all, Caleb here. Today we're looking at what is the best shooting in Seraphon, if there is any. <laughs> I've I've been getting abused by some shooting armies recently, ma mainly Stormcast, but also a little Skaven. And so I really wanted to see if I could compete in that arena. It, it really feels bad not having anything in the shooting phase. It's a whole phase of the game, and if you're just skipping past it because you're all melee... That just doesn't feel very good. Um, so I wanted to see what our best options are. Uh, spoiler alert, we don't have really good options anymore for shooting, which is a shame because for a long time our identity in Seraphon was shooting. We had, originally we had some incredible stuff with Basilodons where we were re-rolling everything um, in Thunderquake. That was just, that was that was my favorite time right there. Um that kind of morphed into our skink hordes, where we were doing mortal wounds from the the serpent staff, and so we could just throw a bucket load of dice at somebody from skinks and do really good shooting there. So we've had some different iterations of it. Previous, I mean, we we even had like some the the Stegageddon had pretty decent shooting in volumes, uh, doing three damage each. So. Most of our battle tomes have had good shooting in it. Until now, it really doesn't feel like we have that good of shooting. So, I broke down some numbers. We'll look at those real quick. I'll try to make this video fast. The two things that really make shooting shine in this edition are covering fire and priority target. Both these things work really well together. So, covering fire. This is a command ability in the enemy's shooting phase that allows you to shoot the closest unit to that uh to to your unit so a very potent command use of a command point now command points are very very valuable but this is a very good one if you have good shooting unit um, as the opponent's coming close to you you get a free shot at them you are minus one to hit but a, a lot of armies have ways to get around that one of those ways is the the season rule priority target where you pick a friendly unit in your general's regiment, which is where you're going to put your valuable shooting unit. Um, and you choose that to be the honor guard. You can pick a unit in reserve, etc., etc. Add one to hit rolls and wound rolls for attacks made by this honor guard that target any units in the enemy general's regiment. So you're looking, that shooting target is looking to target the enemy general's regiment. They get plus one to hit and wound. And this works in the shooting phase. This just turns some shooting units up to up to 10 uh like like the vanguard snipers i mean the uh the Giselles, these things uh really like that plus one to hit and wound so you can combine these two things together because it still works in the enemy shooting phase if they're coming at you with a unit from their from their general's regiment which is usually quite a few units unless they're really teching against it uh priority target is still going to be valuable there so both of those things go, go into this, make shooting units very, very good. Um, generally, one unit is going to be very good at shooting because of this priority target. Uh, but if you have a lot of stuff, you can all you can use covering fire from any of them, um, but only once per turn. So, all right. So those two abilities, how do they work in our army? Well, let's look at the base shooting profiles for our units. <laughs> Um, I mathed it all out for us, and you can see here uh, I've got it organized by uh, the most efficient units, and everything's reinforced that can be, just because that would that would be the best bang for your buck. And what comes out on top? I was a little surprised by uh, ten wrapped on hunters. Now they come up on top almost solely because they do get a second shot, um, as long as. They're not in combat, and some Raptid on Chargers are in combat. They get another chance to shoot. That's really the only time you're going to be taking these guys. And so I included that number here. Um, when you include that, you're, you know, for 10 Raptid on Hunters, you can get about 8, almost 9 damage versus a 4-up save, uh, which is okay. It's not great. Uh, you look at the, the points per damage column over there on the right, and you're paying 31 points per... Uh, one point of damage. It's not a it's not a great profile. Um, they do have a lot of wounds for these Raptor on Hunters. That's nice. They're fast. They combo well with Raptor on Chargers. They can do a little bit of work, but it's not great. Uh, the other thing I have highlighted here are twenty Skinks. Uh, they're cheap. They're extremely cheap. They'll do a little bit of damage. 
Um, but really, it's just throwing a bunch of dice. Uh, the Skinks are a unit that, you know, if we had buffs to stack on these things, um, the Skinks would take it really well. Unfortunately, really the only buffs we have in the army, we have some auto wound stuff, but uh, nothing that, that really stands out. The, those two buffs we talked about at first are really the best things we have for shooting. Um, so Skinks are doing okay. A lot of the stuff that you would expect to see up here pretty high, like the Bastillon with Solar Engine, is just not doing very good. Uh, just doesn't have enough damage output. Uh, six Pterodons, I was hoping that would look better, but nope. Um, a Stegodon with Sky Streak Bow is actually our worst efficient <laughs> per points for shooting. That's just, that's sad. So this chart was kind of kind of depressing to see. Uh, Raptodon Hunters are an interesting pick, though. Let's see what else we can do. So if we apply priority target to the Raptodon Hunters here, I think they end up looking a little bit better, actually. Now you've got uh, a little bit more damage. You're doing seven damage, almost eight, in the shooting phase, which isn't great. But because they do get to shoot twice, and I'm assuming you're going to send them and the Chargers after something in the General's Regiment, you will end up doing double that seven or eight damage up to 15 or so versus a four-up save. Uh, that's actually starting to look better. Uh, it's not as good as some of the high-end shooting units in the game, um, but that's not that's not terrible. That's that's pretty decent shooting onto a target. Um, they have decent Ren, the Raptor Hunters, so it's not a bad unit. You do have to get close. You have to get very close. You have to pair them up with some Raptor on Chargers. So overall, that package gets pretty expensive, and it's very uh, it's it's a little bit of a finesse use here. You can't just sit back and shoot. You do have to be up there in range to start shooting them. And it's a little bit easier to stop because somebody could counter charge you and st just stop their second shot. But in the end, that's only an extra 7 or 8 damage. So, uh, 20 skinks in priority target isn't terrible. I mean, that's, that's almost 10 damage versus something. So you are throwing a lot of dice and that plus 1 to hit and wound really helps them out there. Um, not much else is, is benefited by that. Bastildon with Solar Engine gets a little bit better. I highlighted it in yellow. It's still not very efficient for the damage it's doing, but it is longer range. It is, you know, a decent rend. Um, if you, you know, it does have a chance to kind of spike higher with the, the exploding sixes to hit. Um, maybe you could get lucky and, and, and spike it. Uh, but... In general, not a great use of points. So, Raptor on Hunter still looking nice. Skinks aren't horrible. If you just want to throw a bunch of dice, if you got nothing else, if you're not if you're not pairing up some Raptor on Chargers with the Hunters, Skinks may not be a bad idea. I did want uh, to show Covering Fire here, and unfortunately, I don't think Covering Fire is much use for Seraphon. Um, in general, your opponent is not going to give you an opportunity to cover fire with your priority target into a general's regiment. It does occasionally happen, but these things are so short range that it's very easy for them to avoid. Something like Giselles is a little bit harder to avoid because they have such long range. Um, Vanguard snipers are a little bit harder to avoid because they have nice range. Uh, but Raptor Hunters would be very easy to avoid uh, covering fire from your general's regiment. Skinks come out on top here, but really you're not going to spend a command point for three damage versus a four up save. So, um, kind of disappointing that we don't really have anything to use. One of the one of the best rules in the shooting phase for our army. So overall, I think there is a decent combo here with the Raptodon hunters and chargers. So I, I I threw up some numbers here of what that combo would look like. You're talking about what is it, uh, 400 or 560 points for 10 hunters, 10 chargers. It's not a bad allocation of 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 points because it is a very fast unit, very mobile. They have a lot of wounds. That's 60 wounds on a five up save. I uh, don't like their save, but it is a lot of wounds. So, with the Hunters shooting twice and the Chargers in melee with the plus one to hit from the Hunter's ability, you would end up with, what is that, about 28, 29 damage 
from that combination. Um, so that's pretty good. That'll 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 kill a lot of stuff, um, and it doesn't really require a lot of buffs other than each other um, comboing up into the same target. If we were to put priority target onto the chargers, that's kind of my first initial thought is because I want that two damage attacks on the charge. What does that plus one to hit and wound look like? Now it only applies to the lances, unfortunately, so you don't get it on the mounts too. Uh, but really, it didn't really up their their damage all that significantly. Uh, I mean, an extra five damage from 20 to 25 is nice, but um, I, was, I was hoping it'd be a little bit more, probably because it, it's pretty light on rend. Um, so it does help there, but I think where the real the real juice is is giving that priority target to the hunters in shooting and that will buff them up to that 15 almost 16 damage versus a four up save and then pair that with your 20 damage from the chargers who still have a plus one to hit from the hunter's ability and now you're looking at 35 36 damage uh from this combination and you know that's theoretically enough to take down a, a you know a mega gargant who isn't applying any buffs for some reason <laughs> um, so I think that combination that right there is probably our best bet for shooting. Not too exciting. Um, and I, I would have never thought I would, I would consider taking the Raptor on hunters before they've been pretty bad, uh, every, every edition so far that they've, that, that we've had them, but now they appear to be maybe our best shooting unit. So interesting. Let me know if anybody has built their Raptodons as hunters and if you're willing to try this for us. I think your biggest problem with this is, is the short range of the hunters. You've got to get close with this combination and then making sure you combo them up. But it's doable and it can provide some pretty good damage output from these two units combo together. All right. That's it. Our best shooting. Not great, but... Could be fun with, with the Raptodons. So uh, let me know if there's another combination that you guys like. If you've been shooting with a bunch of other stuff, um, let me know how it went. See you guys next time.